How's it going, you bunch of legends? I am Red Nitrate, and welcome to my Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay walkthrough part 34. So, on the last episode, it was action packed. We finally got to take the fight to the Braithwaites. Um, epic great big shootout, burnt the place to smithereens in an attempt to try and get some information on the whereabouts of Jack uh, as we found out that uh, yeah Jack John Marston's kid had indeed been captured and is missing so today we are on the hunt looking for him and we have been tasked to ask around for a fellow called Angelo Bronte uh, who was believed to be either the person who kidnapped him or the person who uh, would have last seen him. Um, but it, it's been hinted that he's the capturer, so, you know, the kidnapper. So we want his head. <laughs> That's uh, There's no two ways about it. So there are these uh, different locations that we can go and ask for some information about Angelo Bronte. Uh, and the mission is called The Joys of Civilization. So I guess we will head over to this one, as it is the closest. We're in, uh, exploring around San Denis. I mean, not technically not for the first time. We've sort of been here on live streams and various other bits and bobs, but this is, this is the first time that the story directly revolves around the, the city of San Denis. So, um, yeah, very exciting. Very keen to check out this first mission. Oop, oop, oop. Went a bit too far. Alright, so we got a... What do we got here? We got a tavern. Some variety. Where's this Angelo Bronte fella at? Whoop! Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch playing silly buggers. What are you doing, bro? You're funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So... Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. That's what, what I was about to do, bro. Till you came and put a gun to my head. <laughs> but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in nine. Alright, um, oh, head to the bar, so we might have to ask some of these friendly strangers for information. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you, America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Yeah, get over here, buddy, got some questions for you. I'll get you in a second. Bro. Not unless we all get washed away. Leave me hanging. Hurry up. Yeah, they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. Brother. Let me tell you something. You're killing me. The States, they lucky to have us. Guys, how long is he going to take? Uh, come on, bro. They run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Well, I thought we might be able to yell at him a little bit, but no. You look like a whiskey man. That's <laughs> the... Uh, oh, okay. Sure. guess we are ordering a whiskey. <laughs> Arthur's hollow leg comes into the equation again. From Scott. Okay. Have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. <laughs> no, Who does it look like? The yeah, Arthur's filthy. Leave. Needs a bath. Look, I don't know what business you in, but Run, leave you son, bitch. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. You got the hookup, brother? Why Helps out. Cock, sucker. <laughs> Doesn't like you him too much. I mean, friend. Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, my good sir. Oh, hey, friend. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. <laughs> right. 
Uh, you know, th these are less enlightened times, I guess, and he is, uh, he is pretty tipsy, so uh, <laughs> I guess we give him a pass. At bro, I'm going to follow up on your information. What are you getting impatient for? People in the old rest, they're, they're mighty testy, it seems. Uh, so where are we going? Down here? No? Go down this little alleyway, I guess. He said we're looking for some kids. Oh, this looks like hey. who we're looking for. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? Cigarette? What are you bloody... Angelo, bro. Wouldn't even come up to my I kneecap. I know him. Shut Everyone in a microwave, you little fecker. We'll take you to him. Ask what him for a cost? cigarette. I reckon There's some I respect. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. <laughs> Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Mm. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. I don't right? trust anyone in this town, even if it's just little Hope kids. Need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. Well, we better not get and too Toulouse close Toulouse to the church. I'll start no. smoking, kid. Here, <laughs> Me and Ain't churches, we're, uh, we're not on, on the best of terms, you know? To burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steel. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> knew they weren't to be trusted. Get back here. Let's go. That angry. You better stop right now. God damn. I don't have my horse. What am I meant to do? Oh, he's hopped off. Get back here. Get back here. Son of a bitch. Damn little whippersnapper. <laughs> Knew I should have shoved you in that microwave. <laughs> you gotta get this back. It's got everything in my whole life's in that satchel. Of course my horse is just conveniently out of commission. Cannot be whistled. So he's heading here, has he? Thanks, buddy. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Get back here. Oh, get back here. I don't know you. That's my purse. You all right back there, old man? Be cool and old. Get. Show you old in a second, you little scamp. I'll get ya. One way or another, I'll get ya. Get out of the way! What the hell? <laughs> Can't you see I'm chasing someone? Move it! Can I get through here? Or? Cucumber's definitely a fruit! Get back here! Oh! <laughs> Oh, you're not gonna wipe me once I get a hold of you. Ring your neck, you little, you little so and so. <laughs> oh lord, they got some serious artillery for some little kids. Goddamn! I ain't your friend, but that kid is. 
and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Dead eye every last one of you. Pop each of your heads off. Don't you try me, you little dicks. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. You ever seen a stretch Armstrong doll kid? Because that's, about, that, that's what's about to happen to you, all right? Give me my stuff so I can be on my way. God damn. Why are you going to care a thing about you? <laughs> I just want to speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. That's what I'm trying to do. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Calls me a yoker. What kind of trash ass op shop did you get those clothes from, you little dustbin kids? <laughs> Oof. Lucky we got that money back though. And um <laughs> Don't know what we'd be able to do with all that. Without all that, yeah, that would um that wouldn't be good at all. See there was something around here? Hey! Will you help a fella out? Oh, there we go. What's going on, man? Come on. Oh, that will help me out. Just playing the honourable route. Money. Mm. Oh. Listen, you have to take this. What do, what, what'd you give me? That's Ginseng true. elixir. Bro, it was very kind of you. Playing poker. <sighs> I know where a good game is. Ah. The gunsmith. Is it really that good of a game, though, if it's uh, put you out here on the street, bro? <laughs> I mean, look at the state of him. Dude's like half dead, rotting in a, in a gutter from a poker game. But he's just like, oh, no, it's a great hookup. <laughs> Go check it out, man. <laughs> no, I'm not, not, sure, um, not sure that's the play, but maybe we could do it at some point. <laughs> Alright, can I get my horse now? Why? Why is my horse out of whistling range? Where the hell is it, even is it? I mean, like, I left it outside. I think it just doesn't want me to have a horse for this mission. Alright. We're getting our Usain Bolt on, everyone. Run, Arthur, run! Use your legs, Lieutenant Dan. I know that's not the quote, but it suits my purposes, alright? Oh yeah, Dutch. Said you're gonna be at, said to meet you at the saloon. This isn't the saloon, you're on a park bench. What's going on? Where you been? Confusing the hell out of me, bro. Bunch of children. I won't inquire. <laughs> But Held up a, like shotgun point by like ten kids Dutch. It's um a little Everybody bit of an embarrassing moment for me if I'm if I'm real with you. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us. Hell there. yeah, we gotta get Jack back, man. Jack's back. as much one of us as, as John is, as Pearson is, as any of the crew. We gotta go get get that kid back. Who steals a kid? Aren't there any kind of ethics in the Old West? I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Alright folks, well that's the first Saint Denis mission finished. So um pretty curious to see the follow up to that. But we might have to save that for next time because we're quickly running out of time for this episode. 
Oh, we've got a little stranger mission here. Maybe we can go check that out before we um, before we finish. I mean, how am I following you? Just come out of a mission. Everyone in Saint Denis needs to relax. Excuse you all are very me, highly strong. You Ooh, collecting serve. for the poor. Will you help the poor? Sure, buddy. I gotcha. I gotcha. I so can. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you. I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work. <laughs> you're, right. oh, you're a good guy, cuts. Arthur. Just I'm under many brother. layers of bad. A monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> You have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Yeah, man, you got it. I got a few thou on me. A little Whole bunch of skrilla. I got you, bro. I you got are. you. We all got to share it around, you know? How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> mm, he has his sometimes moments. Sometimes he's yeah. a downright fool. And sometimes he's outright crazy. <laughs> Usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. It's slavery. I, I thought we had banished that. Mm. Like Saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves. Out Transitionary to some of the times, my friend. So got a little while to go. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. You don't say, huh? Some sort of shady hey. shop. Better go and check it out. I hear ill-gotten trinkets and uh, I'm all in. <laughs> See what they've got to say for themselves, eh? Oop, oop, oop. Going the long way around. Search for clues on the captive's whereabouts. Shall do. Some quality pieces in at the yeah, I've heard some dodgy stories about you, man. Like, uh, you got a story to tell me, or what? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? You heard me. You heard me good and proper. Where are Cough it up. Who? Give me that info. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always mm -hmm. good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir. I yeah, swear. that's what I thought. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Okay, okay, but I don't know if I entirely trust you, Sunshine. You look like a slippery, slippery bastard, and uh, I'm just going to tie you up here for safekeeping, alright? That was not meant to happen. You were meant to tie him up. What, but why did that happen? This is my brother's There we go. Okay. Now can we tie him up, please? Hold still, mister. Thank you all. This, this is just for your own safety, alright? Even though your head's jammed in a book in a uh, cupboard there, it's, it's for your own safety, alright? And mine. So just chill. We'll figure out the we'll figure out the next stage in this saga. In the meantime you just get some, some much needed rest, my friend. Uh, do I have my... I do have my lamp. What the hell's going on down here? This looks all kinds of seedy. Oh my dear lord. What the hell has happened here? Dear lord, buddy, what have they been doing to you? Nah, that's no good. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Yeah, let's get you out of here, bro. 
How long have you been chained up in this basement for? Damn! Oh, wow. Got, got two of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting you, man. Don't worry. Get away from these seedy bastards. What the hell? Not like a full-on torture chamber down here. Mate, that is not cricket. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right. Yeah, don't worry. That greasy little Pee Wee Herman bastard, he ain't, uh, he ain't going to hurt you anymore. I, I promise you that. He's all tied up. That's He's not going it. anywhere. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Oh, give cash to captives. We can do that. <laughs> nice. What we call poetic justice, baby. Come with me. I know someone who can help you. Ah, uh, so we're gonna go help him out, are we? Ah, uh, well, I guess we just. Well, 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 I was gonna just straight leave him, but we can loot him, can't we? That's that's only fair. <laughs> Take all the money from the register, take all his belongings. That's what he gets for keeping these poor, poor fellas captive. What the hell is wrong with you, sir? Seek help. I will be back. Don't you be trying that stuff anymore, alright? Unless you want Arthur on your case. No one wants Arthur on their case. Pretty much, guys. Um, I'm the one that saved you, so. <laughs> Not too many people to trust in these parts. Just come with me, lads. I'll look after you. No worries. Father so and so? Brother, Looks like your tip paid off. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. One seedy on. operation we you had back right. there. Found these two in prison in that shop. Oh my, that's well. Re they are blessed he to have met you. Easy. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger, comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh, yes. Thank you. I. Uh, here, payment for your services. It could not have. Nah, no, man. No, 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 no. Work for the church. You're, you're you're helping the needy. Um, no, give to the give poor. It to the poor brother. It's Thank all you, you, man. I will. Appreciate you. Like I you said, and your kindness. Come on, come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I I those poor men the out. On Street in Saint Francis. Get them a meal. So they can desperately, desperately use it. Oh, damn. That's pretty raw. <laughs> well, I think that will probably be a wrap for part Mister. 34 folks um, we will pick up on the next installment of the Angelo Bronte uh, saga in the next episode so be sure to stay tuned for that however if you did enjoy this episode please hit the like button down below and if you want to see more content like this please also consider subscribing and yeah I will catch you all on the next installment of Red Dead Redemption 2 I'm Red Nitrate. Stay legendary, everyone. Bye now.